Hey guys, welcome and or welcome back to Cassie J. Today we're going to be doing a April budget. Um, I feel like I need to get it out of the way. I need to go over the February expenses. I need to check on my March, whatever, but right now I kind of feel like April is what is calling my name right now, so I need to get April's budget out of the way. And put that to the side. And then we're just going to, we're going to take this. All right, so this pen I actually got, I was trying to have it as a display because I watched Yellowstone and the guy, Rip, um, he is like a loyal cowboy that the um, owner of the ranch had took, took over. And he basically raised him since he was like a teenager or whatever. And um, he fell in love with the daughter Whenever I saw that she had that pin, I just had to have it. It was like, I had to have that pin. But anyway, so um, it's not even displayed. This is so cute. Anyways, so this is going to be, and then I'm going to kick it around, uh, for April. The budget, okay, so usually I budget 1100 right? We're going to times it by 0.65. It says that I should be getting roughly around 700 a check. That is crazy to think that <laughs> that's 65% of 1100. Um, so let's just, let's just go based off this number. And then that way I can budget too low and I'd rather have more. Because we'll, we always budget 1100 um, every two weeks and I want to say I get 1300. So it kind of, you know has like that gap so if i did 1300 times so roughly 845 so it's still really low so let's do 7 715 and then um actually 715 times two so the income that i'll be getting from my nine to five is one thousand four hundred and thirty dollars that's like wow i don't know what i would do if that was just my regular income and I didn't have any other side hustles or anything like that because that yeah no that's crazy um the the bills alone for the month are two thousand two thousand two hundred twenty eight dollars and ninety seven cents so two 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 eight minus nine seven I mean point nine seven Minus one four three zero. That's like seven hundred and ninety eight dollars and ninety seven cents ish that I would have to have income coming in from my side hustles and stuff, which I don't think that's gonna be a problem. But anyway, so side hustle on the third of each month I get eight hundred uh, from our virtual assistants from one, and then um, three fifty. From the other, I think it's like 355, 365, three, three something. And then whenever I do Uber, um, in a weekend I can get this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I think last week I got 350. So 350 times four. I don't know. 350 times four. Let's say 1400 plus the 350 from one and the 800 from the other. So my side hustle would bring in 2500 and but it's not until April that I can get, you know, roughly the 800 and the 350. And then what me doing the Uber right now um, actually really helps. So uh, right now I'm doing $50 Monday through Thursday and then Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I am trying to get 150. So that helps. And then the other income is would be uh, child support. I have an 18 year old who still lives with me and her dad is still paying child support. And they, I got a letter saying that they weren't going to, but then I got another letter following saying that because she was still in school, that it was going to continue till June. And I want to say I get 300 now because so before I would only get $74 every two weeks. And um the whole thing going on or whatever so they had to revamp it and whenever they revamped it it went up so and that was just recently 
So I don't know if like it's going to end in June or not, but we're going to count that as other income and I'm just going to put 300 because I don't know how much it is anymore. I used to put 150 for the whole month and now it's, I guess it's doubled. Now, now that she's 18, it's double, which makes no sense. Anyway. All right. So total two, five, five, zero plus one, four, three, zero plus 300. So total, I would roughly be getting $4,280. That's, that's crazy. I haven't seen that. That's a low number. Yo. <laughs> I don't know if I could ever have a job that would pay me $700 every two weeks. Like, can you imagine? Like, that's crazy. That, I don't, I don't know. Would that even be minimum wage? What is minimum? Um. 725 still i think right so 725 times 40 that's so that's a week is 290 oh wow it, or maybe it's an eight because there's no way times 40 is 320 times 2 640 that's almost minimum wage no that is crazy okay Oh, that just drove me nuts. Okay, so for April's rent, um, April's rent is actually going to be paid at the end of March. So I don't have to pay rent out of this. I'm going to say that I am going to pay for May's rent. So I'm still going to put the 1000 that I pay. And then the electricity, I have it set for um, daycare is not getting anything. Um, the electricity, I have it set for 175 and then the phone is 145 it did go up so i added a tablet which is 20 dollars for data each month and then um which i was told that it was free but i get it i'm not even gonna um have a fit and then the my daughter's phone i went ahead and added her to the plan so for three phones it's 120 if i add a fourth line it's free so I'll stay at 120 so i'm trying to get my oldest daughter to be on there as well so that i can feel like i'm saving money <laughs> um, even though her dad pays for the bill so it's not really going to change anything plus the 20 dollars. so it's supposed to be like 140 145 and then the internet is um 65 something so i pay 70 each month and then car insurance actually went up but because i pay me and my mom of 140 she's going to pay the difference and i think it's like 15 16 dollars and then subscriptions is 102 something, so I pay 105. And then for student loans, I'm not going to pay anything um, this month. And then for my credit card, I don't think I'm gonna pay anything. I do not. So I wanna say the minimum I probably will pay is the 200, but I don't know. I don't, I'm gonna put 200 just, just because cause usually I pay the 500 and I call it a day. I um, have a, like, a little bit going towards principal, but I think the minimum is like 180 something. I don't ever look at it, I just pay for the 502 because it's random. And then um, nothing is going to be extra towards the emergency funds and nothing's going to go extra into the family emergency funds. Um, those are just going to be left alone. For um, the gas, because I'm not going to, I will be driving more. Um, I. I was going to say I'm not going to be driving, but I will be driving. I think my surgery is the 27th. I know my surgery is the 27th. And I plan on being at least not moving as much for at least four to five days. Um, and like not not necessarily like leaving the house or driving or anything like that. Um, if something changes and I'm able to actually drive, I will Uber. Because just just because I don't I don't think I can handle not working. Um, I will, what, my downtime actually not having to be on the phones and not working for nearly two months, I am going to focus on my Etsy shop. I need to restock and, you know, do everything in the Etsy shop. I'm also going to be, um, focusing on, you know, just my virtual assistants so that I can have those, that two months to possibly gain more, um, passive income. So i am actually looking forward to these two months off i'm actually going to have another two months off because i've decided to go ahead and go with the weight loss surgery to remote to remove my um benign tumor that is um on my stomach or beneath my stomach and so i am going to i i believe i'm going to um have four months off this year to focus on my side hustles and focus on um you know my business to make sure that i have everything the way i need it to be so 
fingers crossed everything goes the way it needs to i might actually go back to work but the nine to five early because it's kind of weird to not have that income um in april as well i will be gone a week i'm going to bahamas so um yeah there's i think it's five days but i i, I do have a cruise planned for bahamas since i'm going to be off work i'm I plan on going to that um so and i need to save for spending for that I, it's already paid off but i need like if i'm in miami we're going to be eating and exploring and have like little excursions and stuff that we want to go to and so i figured after surgery um i have that three weeks before we leave and so during those three weeks uh whatever i make is just going to go towards that um if it doesn't go already towards bills all right so um let's see so for gas because i plan on doing uber i put twenty dollars a week um in gas and my my car is actually really good usually at just twenty dollars actually gets me throughout the entire week but i'm going to go ahead and budget forty dollars um $40 a week because I plan on doing it extra now that I'm like, I'll, I'll be free more. So $160 is what I'm going to put towards that. Um, I'm still going to stick to my $200 that I do for groceries. Um, I'm not going to be working, so I'm going to go ahead and put zero. The work is whenever um, I go to the actual office. And then home, um, household, I'm not going to be buying anything or cleaning too much, whatever. Um, and then my kids work and then my son has, he has money, so I'm not going to be putting anything towards that. I'm not saving, doing savings challenges or cash envelopes or anything like that either. So there's, you know, my money is going to be kind of limited. I am going to, um, put $50 into business only because I have, uh, marketing going for one. And then, um, I do laminate, um, sheets. I plan on buying a couple of them, so that and then um going out to eat i want to be realistic and not i'm not going to say i'm not going to go but i'm going to go ahead and put 100 um miscellaneous i am going to put i'm going to put coffee down here because coffee was or is something that i have gone back to drinking and for the month i want to say i could do 30 dollars. i could do more than 30 dollars in two days but i'm going to put 30 dollars because i'm going to um that I found out that Dutch Bros has really good coffee and it's kind of cheap. And then I'm not going to be drinking every day. I'm also going to buy the carton so that while I'm at home, I can drink the carton. Because I cannot make coffee at the house. I can, I, it, I just, it just doesn't come out right. I don't know why it just doesn't. All right, and then miscellaneous, I'm going to put, um, let's just put 50 in there because we don't know me, okay? <laughs> we don't know what I want during that time. And then the high yield savings account, I usually, it's a regular 25 every two weeks. Oh, yeah, 25 every two weeks. And so it's going to be 50. The sinking funds, I'm not adding anything towards sinking funds and I'm not paying anything towards debt. Usually this 500 would be the debt payment, but we're not doing that this time. We are not. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate everything up. So for, oh, we already did that. So for the, the bills, we have 1000 plus 175 for electricity, 145 for the phone, 70 for internet, 140 for the car insurance, and then 105 for subscriptions, and then 200 for the card. So that comes out to 1835. And then my envelopes, which I'm going to try my hardest to stuff, um, 160 towards gas, 200 towards groceries, 50 towards business, and 100 eating out, 50 again towards miscellaneous, and then 30 to um, coffee. And that's going to be $590. 50 going to the high yield savings, so it's just gonna be 50. So here we have the $4,280, and we're hoping that that is the amount that we get um, so that I won't be stressed and freaking out. And then, because I do not want to pull out, I do not want to use my credit card for anything. That's my thing. Like, I'm trying to pay the credit card down. I do not want to use it for anything. I will, though. I have no problem, okay? But I do not want to use it for anything. I don't want to use my business credit cards or anything like that, so I'm trying to, like, 
I'm trying not to dig myself into a hole by having this surgery, basically. And I, I think it's stressing me out just knowing that $400 per check is going to be gone. All right. And then um, this one, the bills are $1,835. And then total cash envelopes, I have $590. And then savings, we're going to do the 50 So total, it comes out to... I will have $1,805 left. Fingers crossed, the side hustles come through the way they're supposed to. There's no issues with them. Nine to five, um, which is 1430, plus the child support, which is 300. I would have 1730 And then we're going to minus, we, we would already be short with just the bills. And then 160, I'm sorry, minus, did I do that right? No, of course not. All right, so 1430 plus 300 minus 1835 minus 590 minus 50. So I would have to have $745 like minimum to if, if my side hustles didn't come through as of right now everything's paid the way it should be um the only thing that i can complain about is that i'm having problems with the insurance um my they're saying that my co-pays didn't cover the insurance and then they're saying that the 100 dollars that i paid towards the hospital did not go towards the inch the um deductible so n nothing that i'm paying is lowering the deductible and I don't understand why it's not. So um, I actually spoke to a HR representative and she said she's going to look into it. Um, she said to give her a week and we have plenty of time. So hopefully there's nothing in the way of me getting the surgery. But if I have to, I will use my credit card and pay the deductible, like specifically target the deductible. And I think it's like $1,245 or $85. Uh, might be. 1265 I don't know, but I know it's $1,200. And so um, that's the only thing that I can complain about right now. With today being the 15th or 16th, um, that's that's my only, oh, 14th. Today's the 14th. So that's my only issue right now is that I literally have 13 days or 12 days to actually get this taken care of. And it's already, they're already asking for a week so of time to get this fixed. And I, I don't know, I'm a little stressed out about it. So I'm thinking about depleting my envelopes, the savings challenges and everything so I can put it towards it. Um, I have no idea how much that is going to be, but I really don't want to touch those because I feel like I haven't even completed one yet in the year of 2024 and I want to complete at least one challenge. So um, I don't want to touch my savings challenge if I can actually do that. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like maybe $300 possibly if I do total, but that is it guys if y'all are new here thank you so much for joining me i really do appreciate it if y'all are my ogs thank you so much for coming back make sure y'all leave a, a emoji um in the comments down below but thank you so much for y'all's time y'all have a blessed day stay safe stay beautiful and stay blessed bye guys